Welcome fellow adventurers to this guide on how to solo A&R in World of Warcraft. A&R the Lifebinder is a boss located in the Antorus the Burning Throne raid. This encounter requires precise positioning and coordination to complete and is likely the boss fight that is stopping you from soloing the entire raid since everything else is super easy. In this video we will go over the mechanics of the encounter and tips to help you solo it. In this video I am using my Paladin and Tank spec. Gear doesn't matter because that won't be what is preventing you from soloing it. You want to use whatever spec you have that gives you the most speed boosts. As you enter the area with ANR, the statues will cast an ability on you called Surge of Life. Using this will launch you into the air and you'll begin gliding. Clicking it again will allow you to land at the location you designate. The encounter begins by talking with the cloudy essence in the fountain. Demon waves will begin to spawn at different doorways. The waves are not random, so you can pre-position yourself in the correct locations. The first wave spawns from the doorway you came through. Don't worry about standing in the fire in this encounter since it does almost no damage. You're waiting for the fell infused destructor to spawn. It is critical that the destructors get taken out quickly. If there is no one within melee range of a destructor, they can kill ANR very fast. After you take out the first deconstructor, you can wait a few more seconds and kill the fell hounds that will spawn, but don't waste a lot of time here since the next deconstructor will spawn shortly after across the room. Use your ability to float across the room until you can land on the upper level area. Take out the deconstructor and the fell lord. Launch yourself again and take out any fell hounds that might have gotten through. In just a few seconds, ANR will nuke all the demons on the pathways and you will need to head back to the fountain. It has happened to me where ANR has not killed the demons, which ends up in a wipe. Behind ANR are some teleporters that look like flowers. Stepping on one will send you to the ship. This begins the most critical point in this fight as a solo player. This is where you will want to make use of your speed boosts. Quickly take out the Inquisitor and head to the south side of the ship. There are four crystals in the room and you need to click all four to be able to exit. Move between the crystals as fast as you can because ANR is defenseless and will begin taking damage while you're in the ship. You do not need to stand still for the one second channel so just click and run. The reason you want to click the southern crystals first is because you'll exit to the north and want to get down to ANR as fast as possible to clear everything attacking her. Once you clear the area around her, you'll want to head to the northeast door quickly to catch the third and last deconstructor. This one is kind of a pain to get to since the pathway is blocking your line of sight to land next to it, but just get into melee range as fast as you can. Once the deconstructor is down, head back to A&R and protect her while you wait for round two of the ship. Rinse and repeat what you did the first time with going as fast as you can to get back to ANR. The difference this time is you'll have to deal with the annoying blast that will occasionally launch you in the air. If you can get back to her before the fell bats get to her, then it's pretty much a win. I hope that this guide has been helpful in providing you with necessary knowledge and strategies to overcome this challenging encounter. This is one of those encounters that will still prove to be challenging even if you soloed it a couple times. I failed four times before getting the win for this video, so get out there and get that transmog gear. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more World of Warcraft content, and leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions.